Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 15 of this video series. In this session, we are going to look at the recommended nomenclature and hide prefix and suffix in ClickView. So, whenever we are loading data into ClickView, there are certain nomenclature rules uh, that are recommended to be followed as a best practices. So, let's see one by one. So, whenever you are loading a table name into ClickView, so you may use the context or object name of the table and followed by the series or else a number for example assume that i have uh, sales data of multiple countries for multiple uh, years so if i am uh, if we are getting uh, data in different tables in that case so sales underscore usa underscore 2016 which will clearly indicate this is an usa sales data of 2016 year okay so if two tables in click view are related to each other so that is called as a key field so when you are making an association between two tables the key field is a very important one so if any key field is observed in the table name so try to be adding percentile symbol before that so here in the nomenclature you can see it's a percentage field underscore name example underscore customer underscore id underscore key so it is recommended to add or else it is recommended to start key field name with percentile symbol okay so and next one is a field separator so if you have multiple words in a field name or in a table name it is recommended to use underscore rather than hyphen hyphen is not recommended and uh, if you have a fact field or as a measure field in your table so use hash symbol uh, before that example here i have a table with sales data so i'm using uh, hash sales as my field. so this is uh, how you can easily identify uh, which field is a key field which is a fact field a measure field like that so if you are creating a variable so Create a variable which is starting with a letter small v and followed by the uh, contextual name. In my example here, I'm uh, intended to create a variable that stores a source path. So for that, I have given uh, v small v src as a source indicator and path as path. So, and uh, if you have any temporary tables uh, that are required to be created or as temporary fields, then in that case, you can. Uh, uh, always use underscore temp underscore the field name or else the table name right so these are the recommended uh, uh, norm naming conventions uh, that are uh, very much useful while developing the click view application so if you are following these things you can uh, pretty much easily handle with the multiple scenarios which are uh, required height suffix and height prefix so let's see where we can uh, use these naming, naming conventions and as well as height uh, suffix and height prefix. So quickly jump into ClickView desktop. So I'm uh, going to use the existing. Let's load in, let's create a new application. Control E. Then load a table file. Sales data. finish it so here unit sold uh, is an is a fact is a measure so i'll rename this as hash units sold so let's assume that i haven't made this as hash units sold i'm just commenting that just reload last you to save so let's save it as naming right so then if you go there you can see city company country state and unit zone so here it is highly uh, i mean you, you you're supposed to search which is a dimension and which is a fact so if i add hash to this then i can easily identify uh, which is a fact which is a dimension so let's name it as hash units and it is not necessary to add something to the dimension because so dimension itself has a meaningful name 
Now you can easily identify hash unit sold as a fact. So, so here I'm going to uh, remove one, two fields. And I'll add these two fields again as a data source. So, say go to sales data and add it. So, here we have country, state, units sold. So, let's have only state here and city and company. Just reload it. If we go to the table view, I mean table view, you can see so these two tables are linked with a field state, right? This is just a key for us. So in that case, assume we don't want this. I mean, usually key fields are not useful to make any kind of visualizations. Okay, so most of the cases it is not uh, required. Maybe in few cases, but most of the cases it is uh, the key fields are not required. So in that case, what we can do is, so if we go to uh, properties, we can see this. So we, we are not, I mean, even though the key symbol is there, so this is not required in the front end, visually. So let's go there, whenever you find a key field, better rename it to as hash state, as hash yes state and reload it right so this is how so you can easily identify which is a key field and which is a fact field right and the naming convention of a table so here so I have a table with sales data so make it sales underscore data and here I have the dimension information dimension underscore car okay so just reload so this is how you can meaningfully provide uh, the names and these are uh, widely used and acceptable nomenclature that are uh, uh, that are following in current this is about the name and culture now so let's get into actual scenarios of the name and culture so these keys are most of the cases not required so in that case if we don't want these fields to be displayed in the front end so what how can we hide these things in front end so for that we have the hide suffix and hide prefix so if something is added before the text so this is a prefix if something is added after the text then we call it as suffix so here in this case i don't want to see the keys in the front end okay so let's go there in the list boxes you can see here you can find this state and whereas we don't want keys in list boxes in most of the cases so how to deal with this let's go to click view edit script and so write set and here it is a prefix right set hide p prefix and so what is the prefix and so here in our case it is a percentage symbol so what are the field that is starting with the percentage symbol will be hidden in the front end okay let's reload and you can't see here the percentage i mean uh, this key symbol so when you go to create I and mean, when you go for creating a list box you can't see that right and cancel it but the field is available in the back end so same how 
the height suffix will work in, in the same way. So assume we have city as city underscore, right? If you reload it, then you can see city underscore. I don't, uh, I don't want to have the fields that are ending with uh, underscore symbol in my front end. So in that case, how can we do that? So let's go to it script set hide suffix s u f f i x and here our suffix is underscore right so whatever the field name that is ending with underscore will be hidden in the front end so here we can see that so this is how we can use hide suffix and hide prefix symbol so whenever you are developing an application try to follow these things then everyone can understand so what is the significance of the particular field and there are tags that are very much useful and they make the application development ease if you are following these naming conventions right so we'll see them at a related point of time. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe.